So tell me about yourself. We've all heard this question before and it can be tough to get through it because it's open-ended. So where do you begin? What are they really wanting to hear? Understanding why interviewers ask this is really important, but understanding how to answer this question is even more critical. How you respond to tell me about yourself can set the tone for the rest of the interview. In addition to learning more about you, interviewers want to see how well you handle open-ended questions. Your response should highlight your best quality qualities in a way that is brief, honest, and confident. And it should also be catered towards the position that you are applying for. Want to know how to prepare the perfect answer to the tell me about yourself question? Let's dive in. There's many different ways to answer tell me about yourself and depending on your interviewer's expectations, the company's culture, how you answer this question will really differ. This is exactly why we encourage you to research a ton before your interview. You'll be able to see more of the company culture, values, and the personality of your interviewer, which can help you answer the questions in the interview. Interviewers often ask you to tell them about yourselves in different ways, but they all mean the same thing. Hiring managers could ask a few different types of questions to begin the interview. Other Examples include walk me through your resume, tell me something about yourself that's not on your resume, and how would you describe yourself? You can use the following steps to help you craft a good response to any of these questions. The first step is to mention past experiences and proven successes that relate to the position. The second step is to consider how your current job relates to the job you're currently applying for. The third step is to focus on strengths and abilities that you can prove with examples. And our fourth step is to highlight your personality to break the ice. Depending Depending on how you want to present yourself to the company, your responses will differ, but there is no right or wrong answer. So let's go over how to prepare for all four different types of approaches. Like we mentioned before, our first step is to mention past experiences and proven successes as they relate to the position. So begin by reading the job description. Take note of the required skills that you have and think about recent stories that demonstrate them. Ideally, you should draw primarily from very recent job experience, however, volunteer work or academic successes can also support your narrative. It can be helpful to quantify your successes to give the hiring manager a clearer perspective. For example, a salesperson can detail their sales numbers or a supervisor could explain how many people they oversee. The second approach is to consider how your current job relates to the job that you're currently applying for. Describing how your current responsibilities translate to the open role shows that you're capable of excelling in that position. If you're applying for a job with a higher level of responsibilities, explain that you're willing to accept more tasks and learn more to advance your career. For a move into a new field, pick one or two duties that relate to the new job that can demonstrate that you have transferable skills. Our third approach is to focus on your strengths and abilities that you can support with examples. When you start building a script for each strength and ability, focus on details and outcomes that you can quantify if possible. For example, stating that you improved customer service is a lot less impactful than increased customer service rates each quarter by 10 to 15 percent. If you don't have the exact information, estimate a realistic value. And our fourth approach is to highlight your personality to break the ice. Since the tell me about yourself question is about getting to know you, it's a good idea to share your personality with the interviewer if you can. You may even want to briefly mention hobbies that demonstrate intellectual development or even community engagement, such as reading, playing music, participating in sports or organized activities, or even volunteering. Discussing personal interests is a great way to end your responses while maintaining a professional tone. What are some of your favorite interview tips? If there's any that haven't been mentioned in the video, comment below and let us know your favorites. And if you're looking for more help to get you through your job interviews, watch some of our past videos to get some tips and tricks. Now let's look at some examples of responses to these types of questions. Here's what talking about past experiences may look like. I've been working as a video producer for the last several years and I've had the benefit of juggling 10 to 15 projects at any given time and dealing with competing priorities from various client needs which I thrive on. I've helped land deals in the six figure range and I really love being able to walk my clients through their project, which I think will be an asset for this type of role. And here's what speaking more about your current role and how that relates to the position that you're applying for may sound. As a producer, I've developed strong sales skills because I not only help execute the strategy and creativity of projects, but I also assist prospects in the proposal and quoting stages. I think having the strategy and creative background really allows 
allows for an easier sales process as I work to understand the client's unique needs and then being able to determine the best fit for their needs and pitch them accordingly. So I think a sales role is a natural fit for me. And now you can touch on some of your quantifiable strengths. In my previous role, I helped increase the business by 20% while I was there. And I did this through cold calling, following up on past leads and presenting and preparing proposals for inbound leads. And lastly, this is how you can bring it back to your personality. I've always been a social person and love attending networking events and meeting new people through community initiatives. So I am always on the lookout for new friends to grow my network, as I believe you never know when you can help someone or they can help you. You'll notice that I have 5,000 plus connections and growing on LinkedIn, and I'm open to adding more. And finally, here are some last minute tips to help you craft your answers. So follow these tips when you're preparing your responses. Our first tip is to practice your response. Write down an outline of your answer and practice it in front of a mirror. Watch your facial expressions to make sure that they match your answer and try to keep your response to two minutes at most. You can also always practice your answer in front of a trusted friend or colleague to get some helpful feedback. Our second tip is to keep your successes to the most recent ones. If you can, focus your achievements from the past two years to give hiring managers a better perspective of your work. You can talk about workplace successes, recent classes you've taken, certifications that you've earned, or even volunteer work. Our third tip is to use work-friendly responses. While you should show your personality during the interview, it's better to avoid any answers that include political or religious affiliations. Hiring managers can then better focus on your accomplishments when you keep your responses work-friendly. And our last tip is to focus on yourself. When an employer asks, tell me about yourself, they want to hear about you and your work. It's good to relate your experiences to the open role, but keep the focus mainly on yourself, even if it is uncomfortable. You can continue to translate your skills and experiences to the job throughout the rest of the interview. And you can learn more about the company when the employer asks you if you have any questions towards the end of the interview. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Or check out Yuvaro for more information on how you can achieve the ultimate career success. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on early career advice, career success, and Yuvaro member stories. We help people change careers and enable them to land their dream jobs in tech. So don't forget that Yuvaro is your career success company and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.